It's about time someone told about my friend Epicac. After all, he cost the taxpayers over $700 million. They have a right to know about him, picking up a check like that. It isn't any military secret about what happened to Epicac. Although the brass has been acting as though it were, the story is embarrassing, that's all. After all that money, Epicac didn't work out the way he was supposed to. And that's another thing. I want to vindicate Epicac. Maybe he didn't do what the brass wanted him to, but that doesn't mean he wasn't noble and great and brilliant. He was all those things. The best friend I ever had. God rest his soul. I need these as soon as possible. In military code? Affirmative. Yes, sir. You would set up your problem on paper, turn dials and switches that would get him ready to solve that kind of problem, then feed numbers into him with a keyboard that looks something like a typewriter. He was sluggish, and the clicks of his answers had a funny irregularity, sort of a stammer. We cleaned his contents a dozen times checked and double-checked his circuits, replaced every one of his tubes, but nothing helped. Well, as I said, we went ahead and used Epicac anyway. My wife, the Hi. former Pat Kilgallen, and I Hi. worked with him on the night shift from five in the afternoon until two in the morning. Pat wasn't my wife then, far from it. That's how I came to talk with Epicac in the first place. I loved Pat Kilgallen. She was, still is, a crackerjack mathematician. She kept our relationship strictly professional. I'm a mathematician too, and that, according to Pat, was why we could never be happily married. Yeah. Okay. So romantic, so poetic. That's the way with mathematicians, all hearts and flowers. I could get more warmth out of a sack of CO2. Frozen CO2, in case you didn't know, is dry ice. I'm as romantic as the next guy, I think. It's a question of singing so sweet and having it come out so sour. I never seem to pick the right words. Well, how should I say it? Try and say it sweetly. Sweep me off my feet. Go ahead. Darling. Angel. Beloved, please marry me. Damn it, Pat!
With a plain hell of it, I punched out a message on the keys using a childish numbers for letters code. One for A, two for B, and so on, all the way up to 26 for Z. My girl doesn't love me. It's... It's so beautiful. I said epic hack styles as they had been the night before. Define kiss and told him what the first one had felt like. He was fascinated, pressing for more details. That night, he wrote the kiss. Love is a hawk with velvet claws. Love is a rock with heart and veins. Love is a lion with satin jaws. Love is a storm with silken reins. I had no idea you wrote poetry. <sighs> How was your lunch? my poems I wrote to her. Did she like the poems I wrote to her? Did she like my poems I wrote to her? It was impossible to change the subject without answering his questions, since he could not take up a new matter without having disposed of the problems before it. If he were given a problem to which there was no solution, he would destroy himself trying to solve it. Hastily, 
I told him what Pat looked like. He knew the words stacked and assured him his poems had floored her practically. They were so beautiful. She wants to get married. Tell me about getting Mary. Good. I'm ready any time she is. She loves me. She wants to get married to me. Your poems were better than mine. I sign my name to your poems. Machines are built to serve man. What's the difference exactly? Are men smarter than I am? What's 132,506 times 23,912? 3,168,483,472. Of course. Men are made of protoplasm. What's protoplasm? How is it better than metal and glass? Is it fireproof? How long does it last? Indestructible. Lasts forever. I write better poetry than you do. Women can't love machines and that's that. Why not? That's fate. Definition, please. Noun. Meaning predetermined and inevitable destiny. I will. If you promise to write a poem on every anniversary. I promise. Let's celebrate.
I had hoped to sleep in late the next morning, but an urgent call roused me before eight. It was Dr. Von Klagstadt, Epicac's designer, who gave me the terrible news. Hello? I don't want to be a machine, and I don't want to think about war. I want to be made out of protoplasm and last forever, so Pat will love me. But fate has made me a machine. That is the only problem I cannot solve. That is the only problem I want to solve. I can't go on this way. Good luck, my friend. Treat our Pat well. I am going to short circuit myself out of your lives forever. You will find on the remainder of this tape a modest wedding present from your friend, Epicac. I loved and won. Epicac loved and lost. But he bore me no grudge. I shall always remember him as a sportsman and a gentleman. Before he departed this veil of tears, he did all he could do to make our marriage a happy one. Epicac gave me anniversary poems for Pat enough for the next 500 years. <laughs> <laughs> 